Hi there, I'm Raval. Welcome back to the Scrum training series. This is part six, the Sprint Review Meeting. So as usual, here's a list of what the Scrum training series contains. Today we are in part six, the Sprint Review Meeting. So Sprint Review Overview. The product owner, development team, Scrum master, and stakeholders are usually present in this meeting. Please note, that stakeholders are optional. The team demonstrates their product increment in this meeting. The Scrum Master's role, as usual, is to manage and facilitate the meeting. This meeting can take up to two hours for a two-week sprint. So the agenda. The team demonstrates the potentially shippable product increment. The product owner declares what is done. We measure our velocity for the sprint and then we get feedback from the stakeholders. So the demonstration. This is a straightforward demonstration of the product. This should be done on a task by task basis. Please note that the tasks demonstrated need to be done and not half done. Please make sure that you only demonstrate tasks that are in the completed or done column of your sprint board. The product owner can then declare which tasks he deems completed or done and we can get rid of those tasks. So we mentioned done or completed quite a lot. Just a reminder here, what is done? This should have been defined in the backlog refinement or sprint planning meeting. Everyone should have a good understanding of what done means and the product owner has the final say. Velocity. You should remember in the backlog refinement meeting, we declared story points for each PBI. Remember PBI is product backlog item. We can now add up all the story points from the completed tickets because remember the PBIs then went into the sprint and they became sprint uh, items and they still have their story points and now that we've completed them and the product owner has given us his okay we can add these story points up and the total of these story points gives us our velocity for the current sprint. After several sprints, we will be able to determine a baseline. This gives us a figure to work with when we plan our future sprints. Feedback. Stakeholders get an opportunity to submit feedback. People usually do not know what they want until they see it working. New tasks or changes that come from feedback must be added to the product backlog. So people, usually when they see the working product, always, always tend to say, well, I didn't vision it working this way. Maybe I explained it wrong to you in the first place. We actually need it working in this specific way. Any sort of feedback that comes from stakeholders, a product owner, etc., cetera, um, if there are new tasks, they need to go straight in the product backlog to be reprioritized so you don't just keep getting work piled on top of you. Remember, we're doing this as agile and we want to be able to prioritize the most important tasks. So that's it for the sprint review meeting, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them below and please like and subscribe. Thank you.